Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Noor Networks. In this tutorial, we will see how to configure backups and how you can restore the backup if in case anything goes wrong with your F5 Big IP appliance. So let's see very first how you can do this using a CLI and then we will come to GUI. This is the putty third party application which I have installed. You can get it on the Google. So we will just do the SSH for the appliance using the IP address. The IP address we have configured is 192.168.0.100. We are going to turn it on port number 22. So here we will put the username and the password. Just remember that in order to do this configuration, I mean, if you have to take the backup or if you want to restore using a CLI, what you need is you need to have the administrative privileges of the appliance. So we have taken the login through a root user. And now very first, I will show you from where you can check the backup, where the backup is restored. We will change the directory to this path which you can see on the screen and just give the last comma ls you can see there is one backup configured with the name cs underscore backup underscore rooted dot conf uh, let's skip this as it is now we will move to the gui of the f5 big ip appliance over here we will click the backup so in order to take the backup, just go to systems over here and then you will find an option archives. Just click on this plus button over here and it will give you option to create a backup over here. We will give the name as backup underscore 0205 2023. It is 0205.23. Encryption is the option if you want to encrypt the backup which you are taking over here So you can enable the encryption and you can just type the passphrase It is basically a key or you can say a password. So whenever you will restore it It will ask the same key. You have to remember this key if you go with the disable option Then when you will restore nothing will be asked But Let's say the disable means straight away. You are restoring the backup. It will restore. Let's enable this and we will give the passphrase over here so when we will be restoring it will ask the same passphrase private keys need to be included and click on finish button just wait for some time and your backup file will be created as you can see it is saying that operation status saving the active configuration it is saved click on ok button over here you can see uh, the backup file is created over here Moving on, if you go over here and you give the plus command over here, you can see one more configuration uh, backup file, the name which we have created recently. And you can see this over here, right? Earlier, it, this was not there. So this is how you can backup the F5 Big IP Altium appliance configuration. We'll do one thing now. We will just download this backup because usually what we do is we don't keep the backup in the F5 big IP appliance itself. We will keep this in some storage or a file server. So what we are going to do is we will download this backup over here. It's an option giving you download backup, right? So just click over here on the download button and you can see it is downloaded. So once you have a downloaded file over here, what we are going to do is we will not keep this backup file over here. We will delete it. Because we already have it in some external storage so why to unnecessary put a you use this space over here the storage space delete this now once this is done guys assume that some tragedy or some incidents happen and you have to, uh, you are in a situation where you have to restore so now let's see how you will restore the backup uh, we will do one more testing over here uh, guys what we are going to do is just go to local traffic virtual server and go to virtual server list we'll do one thing we will delete one of the server pool let's say we will delete this virt uh, virtual web server pool confirm delete now 
this is deleted now in case if you want to restore the backup we want all the configuration what we deleted accidentally to be restored so we have an option what we are going to do we will go to archives over here and there is option upload over here just click on upload over here it will ask you to browse the file browse the file and since we have downloaded it will be in the downloaded folder for me so i will just browse the file i browse the file i have located the path where i have kept this file and now i will click on upload button once this is done i will just click over here and if you remember we have said that i need a passphrase i have i have enabled the encryption right since i have enabled the encryption it is asking me the passphrase so i will put the same passphrase over here and i will click on a restore button it is saying that a restoring system archive the status will be updated shortly click on ok button and let's wait for some time so guys you can see over here like the appliance has created one cs underscore backup dot ucs file which was not there earlier and if you will go to the cli you can see that some of the services are restarted and now we are to the ucs prompt now let's verify whether the configuration which we deleted for the testing purpose is restored or not going to local traffic just go to virtual servers and go to virtual server list and you can see that this was the virtual web server which we deleted earlier and now it is restored from the backup so this is how guys you will be creating a backup you will take the backup of the appliance you will download it to some external storage and as and when required you can upload it to the appliance and restore the configuration as and when required that's all in this tutorial if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel yet please subscribe it now and do share with your friends thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial